This is a story with Bible picture cards, and we use these stories a lot at school. These are from Abeka, and um, we just we have the whole set through the Bible, and they're beautiful pictures, and help with telling stories to children. Just gives them a good visual, and just a fun way. So we're going to tell story another story about Elisha. This is about another lady that he helped, or another family. Now, it, when in Elisha's day, he did a lot of traveling from town to town. And sometimes when he was in between places, he would stop at somebody's house for the night. And there was a lady's house that he stopped at quite frequently. She lived in the town of Shunem. And we don't even know what the lady's story's name was, kind of like the lady in the other story. We don't know what her name was. But she lived in the town of Shunem. She lived there with her husband. And Elisha stopped there whenever he passed by. And she would give him supper and a bed to sleep in. One day she got to thinking, you know what? It would be really nice for Prophet Elisha if he had his own bedroom. Maybe he just was sleeping in the kitchen or in the living room. He didn't have his own room. She said, it would be really nice if Prophet Elisha could have his own bedroom. I wonder if we could build a room onto our house. Now, if you add an addition on your house, usually you add it on the side, right? But in those days, their roofs were flat. And so sometimes they just build a room on top of their house. And that's what they did for Prophet Elisha. You can see here, they're starting to build the room for Prophet Elisha here on top of the house. So they began to build that room up there on the top of the house. And there they're building it. The next time when Prophet Elisha came, it was all finished. What a surprise. A nice room for him up there on the top of the house. Usually, with Prophet Elisha traveled, his helper, whose name was Gehazi, and so they both could stay up there in that room on the top of the house. In that room, they had put a table and a chair and a bed, of course, a little lamp, and just things to make it nice and comfortable for them. Prophet Elisha laid down on the bed and he thought, hmm, this lady has been so kind to me. I wonder what I can do to show, to be kind back to her. And so he told her to come. He told Gehazi to get her and ask her to come. And she came and he said, Lady, you have been so kind to me. Can I say a good word to you for the king? So that the king can maybe not take so many taxes or maybe so your husband wouldn't have to work in the army. And she said, I live in my own country. That, that wouldn't really help me anything. So Elisha and Gehazi were trying to think, what could they do for this lady? And Gehazi said, you know what? That lady doesn't have any children. I bet she would like a, a child. Do you think she would? Yes. And in those days, especially, every lady, it was kind of shameful if you didn't have children. Every lady wanted children. Yes, Adrienne? Um, I know the story. You know the story? <laughs> yes. So, did she have a, a child? Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. So, Prophet Elisha said, when I come here next year, when I stop in at your house, you're going to have a son. God's going to give you a son. And she said, oh, please don't tease me. I really want to have a child, but it's kind of hard to hope for that. And Prophet Elisha said, I'm not teasing you. That's going to be true. And sure enough, the next year when they came, that lady had a little baby. How exciting. And the little boy grew and grew. And when he was, I don't know how old he was, maybe Carlin's age, maybe Adrian and Brendan's age. Don't know how old he was. He loved to do things with his daddy, and he wanted to go with his daddy out to the field to help cut grain. And so he went with his daddy out in the field. Now it happened to be a very hot summer day. And he got warmer and warmer and warmer. <sighs> and suddenly he said, oh, my head, my head really hurts. And he was getting sick. So his daddy said to the servants, Please take him back home. He shouldn't be out here in the hot sun if he's feeling sick. So the servants took him back home to his mom. And his mom tried to help him feel cooler and feel better. But it didn't work. As he lay there on the bed, he stopped saying, My head, my head. He stopped saying anything at all. And after this, the mom noticed he wasn't breathing anymore. The little boy stopped. She felt terrible. Here was this son that Elisha had said she would have. 
but she knew what to do. She said, I'm going to go get Elisha. I'm going to go tell him. So she called for a servant to go with her to ride over to talk to Prophet Elisha, and they hurried over down the road to Prophet Elisha's where he stayed. And when they got there, Prophet Elisha's servant, Gehazi, came out and said, what's the trouble? And the lady said, oh, nothing. But she didn't go away. She said, I want to talk to Prophet Elisha. So she kept on asking until Prophet Elisha came out to talk with her. A whole row of pictures here. And when she saw Prophet Elisha, she bowed down and talked to him and said, Elisha, didn't you say that I would have a son? And Prophet Elisha said, well, yes, I did. You have a son, right? And then she told him what had happened. And Prophet Elisha said to Gehazi, go quickly, take my rod and put it on top of the little boy. And so Gehazi hurried to go do it. But the lady said, I won't go back home unless you go with me. And so Prophet Elisha said, okay, I'll go with you. So he and the lady started back home. And when they got there, sure enough, the little boy was lying on the bed. She had put him up in the bed in Prophet Elisha's bedroom, and he wasn't breathing. And when Gehazi had put his staff on him, it didn't make any difference. He didn't start breathing then. So Prophet Elisha um, went up there, and he shut the door. Just him and the little boy were in the room. And the Bible says he stretched himself on top of the little boy's body. The little boy's body started to get warm again. And Prophet Elisha prayed and prayed and prayed. And after a bit, ka choo ka choo The little boy sneezed. Does a dead person sneeze? <laughs> no, indeed. Yeah. The little boy became alive again. The Bible says he sneezed seven times. <laughs> and then... Prophet Elisha knew God had healed him. He was going to be okay. So he sent for the little boy's mother and said, Come and get your son. Your son is going to be okay. And so the mother came and she was so happy that that little boy that she had prayed, that Prophet Elisha had prayed for, was well. And she would, he would be okay. So that's our story. Now, I'm wondering if any of you are brave enough to tell us something that happened on one of those pictures. Are there one of those pictures that you want to, to tell us what happened on the picture? We'll just start with the first one. What was happening in the first story? Raise your hand if you want to tell us what was happening in the first one. Go ahead, Carly. Well, um, there was a... You can just tell us what... Yeah. And they thought that um, Elisha might like a room to sleep in. Perfect. And so they just built it on top of their house. Perfect. Yep. So there they're building the room on top of their house. Good. What's happening? What's probably Elisha doing in this picture, mm -hmm. Adrian? He's getting ready to uh, help the boy. That's right. Help him get well. Wow. Very good. Very good. Did you want to tell us any, Annalise? No? Okay. That's fine. So this is a way you can also assess with the flashcards, even giving each student a card and having them tell about what, what happened in the card. Thank you very much for helping us with that. And, or it can be one picture where the whole class tells, or they turn and tell each other what happened. But it's good to have them all stretched out here so they can see the sequence of the story.